Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about Laravel one-to-many relationships here. So in last part we learned about one-to-one -one relationship and with that we learned some other things also about Laravel relationship like what is Laravel relationship, how many types of relationship we have in Laravel and all. So if you haven't watched the last part then I'll recommend you to watch that part because that will definitely help you to understand the one-to-many relationship also because there we are covering the basic things about Laravel relationship. Alright, so in this part first we'll discuss what is one-to-many relationship then we will make a function in model and that will help us to uh, implement one-to-many relationship after that we'll see example and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also this is the playlist for laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for laravel job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of that part all right so now let's understand what what is one-to-many relationships see so relationships is something when two tables are uh, related to the each other uh, depending on some uh, column or field of the tables and they can be any ID name or anything right. So uh, in one to many relationships if one record of the first table is related to the multiple records of the second table that time we can say that this is the one to many relationships because in first table we have one record and in the second table uh, that one record is related to the multiple records that's why this is one to many relationship and uh, uh, let me show you some example for this so here you can see that the id1 is belong to the anil seller right this is a seller table so this is a seller name so uh, id1 is belongs to the anil seller and this id actually present in the three records first one then third one and then fourth one also right so here we can see that this one id is uh, present in a one time only in the seller table and multiple time in the products table so this is the one to many relationship and how we can implement it in the code let me show you so first i'll what i'll do uh, i'll go to the seller and then i will make a function there function name you can put anything let's say many rel that means uh, many relationships or if you want to keep the function name anything else you can keep there is no issue and initially i'll just say that uh, sailor colon colon find one id right and that we know it will return the data from the sailors table with the id one and now we have to make a you can say that a, a route for this so let me make a route get and there we'll say many rel then uh, sailor controller colon colon class and then we'll say list all right okay so now if we will test this uh, url let me just close this and open another one I think we made some mistake with the, yeah actually we have to put the this function name only many rel right let me add this one and now you'll find that we are getting the data right uh, there is a one row only for sailors right and if you just put there uh, all then it will show the result for all and if you just put the id2 then it will show the data according to the id2 here you can see that right so but the thing is how we can get the data from products table on the behalf of this id of this table right this, this is the point so for that you have to go to the uh, seller model and there we can make one more function you can put any name to this function so for now i'm just putting their product many and then let's return there and there we'll use dollar this and then for one to one relationship we basically use has one and here we have to put has many and there again we have to put the path of this uh, another model so let me just put this path and now if i just uh, call this function inside the controller with the sailor model right then you will see we are getting the data and keep in mind this function whenever we will call to the uh, model then it should be like property it should not be like functional so don't use the braces here otherwise it will throw the error 
so now you will you can see that we get the data for all of these three records so iphone oppo and micromax right here you can see that so these are actually related to the this uh, id one seller so if i just put their id two then you will say that you will see that we are getting the data for only samsung here we go so if i just change this id from uh, let's say for last one one to two then you will see that we are getting the two data because now this id2 actually uh, linked with the these two records all right okay so that's fine maybe uh, you can again think even that thing i already cleared in the last part so if you will see like how this uh, laravel get to know like this id is uh, uh, added as the seller id in the second table so this is the laravel uh, allocant relationship structure it will identify this id seller table id with the seller underscore id only so maybe you can think about this so let's say if this id is uh, something different maybe there is the owner id then how will it get the data the answer is no it will throw the error here you can see that so what we need to do for that in that case go to the this function and in second parameter just provide that id manually so our id is uh here you can see that owner id right so owner id you can present put in the second row in the second parameter and now you will see this is perfectly working fine so with that way we can uh, use the one to many relationship if you still have any confusion any doubt, doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys